Hello, my name is James Guo, Developer Evangelist at Zero. I'm here with a community corner where we answer questions from our developer community. Today, I would like to focus on one mystery that developers have been asking a lot lately to our hashtag champion Zero API tech support team. The question is, how do I get permanent access to Zero API in OWASP 2? Well, to explain that, I'll first need to go back to OWASP 1.08 era. If you worked with Zero API in the OWASP 1.08 era, you'll know that we have three types of apps, private apps, public apps, and partner apps. Private apps are designed for one-on-one -on -one integration, so the API key allows an app to connect to a single Zero organization. This will provide permanent access to it. Public app can connect as many Zero orgs as they want, but the access token only work for 30 minutes and cannot be refreshed. Partner app can also connect to as many zero orgs as they want, and their API access token can be refreshed by something called a session handle. You all know that zero is migrating to OAuth 2. In the OAuth 2 land, things are much simpler. We only have uncertified apps and certified apps. Uncertified apps can have up to 25 zero organization connected, and one zero org can only have two uncertified apps connected at once. Certified apps can have as many connections as they wish, and one zero organization can turn on as many of them as they want. For details of the difference between them, check out the videos that my colleague Red has made over here. Not all developers know that all OWASP 2 apps will have permanent access to zero organizations. If you include the offline access scope in your OWASP 2 request. In every OWASP 2 request, an app will need to specify a list of scopes and the API they wish to access. If you add offline access to the scope list, you will be able to get an access token, which lasts for 30 minutes, and a refresh token, which lasts for 60 days. You can then use this refresh token to get a new set of access token and refresh token, hence achieving permanent access in the background. Let's take a look at it in c -sharp programming language in a .NET Core MVC application. I'm going to demonstrate you in a zero net standard OWASP2 starter app that I have made for .NET framework. Go ahead and take a look at the README documentation and get started yourself too. So back into the, my favorite IDE VS Code, we can see that in this application, the app settings are kept in app settings.json. In the zero configuration, I have defined the client ID secret callback URL, and also most importantly, the scope. If you look at the list of scopes that I have there really hard, you will find offline access nowhere to be seen. And that's because I didn't include them. Let's see what happens if I load this up. Bunch of things happened on the terminal and I have my application ready now. I haven't connected to zero yet, so let me connect to zero. I'll need to enter my username and password. You'll see that on the consent flow, I'll be able to select the organization that I want. Let's choose the good old demo company. And you will see that the consent button says allow access for 30 minutes. So that means my app can only have 30 minutes of access to the API. If I add offline access to the scope at the front back or in the middle, I'll be able to access Zero API permanently. Let me recompile. So now going back, I'd like to disconnect my Zero organization so I can restart the consent flow. That is the OWASP2 flow. Log in, and you will see I'll need to select the company again. And the allow access button does not have the 30 minutes limit on it. That means I'll be able to get the refresh token back and get a new access token whenever I need. Just make sure you refresh within 60 days. You can easily test out this in Postman as well. Check out the video made by our champion API tech support team, Matt Ramsey here. So I hope that was helpful to you all hashtag beautiful zero developers. Go ahead and add offline access to your scope and say goodbye to having to log into zero every 30 minutes all the time. There's plenty of documentations on our developer portal about Zero OWASP 2. Don't forget to check out the OWASP 2 FAQ. Lots of good stuff on it. And there's a heaps of code examples on GitHub for every major programming language. My name is Jenks again, over and out. Mm -hmm.